Hi everybody, John Carver and Joe Gregory here from FlyRodFanatic.com. Um, my passion is building rods and, and teaching people how to uh, build their own fly rods. And uh, Joe is our resident casting expert and, uh, and his passion is, is really teaching people how to fly fish and teaching people how to improve their casts as well. So in our last video we, um, we completed the rod that we've been building on, um, on, on video for you. And um, we're pretty excited about it. It, uh, it just turned out really beautiful. We, we couldn't be more happy with the way that it looks. Um, but uh, we're all kind of holding our breath trying to figure out, you know, how is this thing going to cast? So um, we're going to go out uh, onto the lawn right now. And uh, Joe's going to put this rod through its paces. So uh, you ready, Joe? I'm ready, John. Let's do it. Well, Joe, I know that uh, the rod's clearly got enough power based on how it's casting out here on the lawn. Um, question for you is, uh, is it delicate enough, though, that you can, you can feel it load, or is it too stiff? No, I think, I think it's a great rod, a good six-weight rod, be a great beginner's rod, give you a, a good feel. I really like the way it feels in the hand. It's got nice balance. It, it loads well. It's easy to feel that loading, so you don't really have to watch the uh, the rod um, or your back cast. You can actually sense when that line is straightening out. It's really a, a good feel to a rod. I'm I'm very very impressed with this compared to the other rods that I've cast. What do you think of the rod itself as far as its weight? Just just the overall weight of the rod casting it all day. I don't think that'll be a problem. It's nice and light. I have an old uh, Sage RPL rod from many years ago. It feels very similar to that as far as uh, its casting uh, ability, though I think it's probably a little bit faster than that old RPL, but, uh, but it's certainly lighter than the RPL that I cast. It's a, it's a very nice rod. You could cast this rod all day long. So you think it's probably on par with maybe some of the, uh, some of the more modern, you know, uh, sage rods that are, you know, the mid-fast mid action as far as, you know, just uh, power versus weight? I think it fits in very nicely with that. For the money, it'll be uh, difficult not to uh, to really uh, uh, get your money's worth out of this rod. Um, it uh, clearly is on par with a lot of the, the higher end rods from Sage, uh, Thomas and Thomas, um, Scott. All of those rods are well known, high end. Very cool. Well, I'll let you have some more fun out here. I might have to bid on this rod myself. <laughs> Don't get too attached to it, Joe. I'm sure someone's going to outbid you. I can't, uh, can't tell you how much of a joy it is to cast this rod. It is really nice. I can easily cast out to 50 to 60 feet with this rod without really trying hard, without shooting line. This would be a, a super nice rod to, uh, for... Uh, you know, heavy trout rod or even uh, a light bass rod would be beautiful for that. Wow, uh, the rod clearly casts very, very well. Um, we couldn't be happier with it. It's actually a little faster than either one of uh, either one of us, uh, of us thought it would be. So it, it, it's uh, it's actually more of a distance rod than um, than I thought it would be, being you know a mid to fast action. But uh, it's also delicate enough that you know you can make some pretty pretty accurate short range casts as well. So. Um, well, if one of you wants this rod, um, we would love to sell you this rod. We're going to give that money to Trout Unlimited. In fact, we're going to give it to uh, one of the newest Trout Unlimited chapters. Uh, it's a chapter in northern Arizona. It's called the Gila Trout Chapter. 
Uh, they're working really hard with the Arizona Department of Fish and Game to do some stream restoration um, in northern Arizona, around the Payson area, and, uh, and other areas as well. So um, we, would, uh, we, we would love to give you this rod. In fact, we'd love to even custom label this rod with uh, your name if you want. So um, it, to get more information on how this rod could be yours and support Trout Unlimited at the same time, uh, please visit us at flyrodfanatic.com and click on the charity rod link uh, towards the top of the page. Also, uh, don't forget to follow us on Facebook, and um, we hope to see you soon. Thanks.